Hillside Road students and parents, I hope you are well and looking forward to the start of the school year in September. We are looking forward to seeing you again. A special welcome to our new first grade students. In this video, we will see what a school day will look like with social distancing guidelines in place. We will show you some spaces and some of the procedures that we will be adhering to and teaching our students to follow as well. Students will get off the buses at 9, 10 a.m. as we unload one large bus at a time. There will be a staff members, including our security guard, Mr. Charlie, positioned along the entire bus platform, not only to greet students, but to make sure they are keeping a safe distance from one another. Students will be wearing a mask on the bus and enter the building with a mask on. Once all children arrive, the school doors will be closed and no adults, including parents, will be allowed into the building. As per our usual drop-off, students will exit their cars, put on their masks if they don't already have them on, and enter the building. If a student does not have a mask, they will be given one by a staff member. Our back door will remain open until 9.25 a.m. If you arrive later than 9.25 a.m., you will drop off your child at the front entrance. In case your child forgot something at home that you need to drop off in good weather, there will be a desk outside of the main doors. Simply buzz into the building, let our front desk know that you are dropping the item off. They will retrieve it from the desk. In inclement weather, a desk will be placed between entrance doors and you will be permitted to place the item on that desk. Once you exit the vestibule, a staff member will retrieve the item. Once children enter the classroom, they will place their backpacks and coats on the back of their chairs to ensure that the items are not cross-contaminated in cubbies and to ensure proper social distancing. At the end of the day, all belongings will go home as desks will be thoroughly cleaned. In most cases, classes will have half a set of desks. In some cases, classes will contain all desks, clearly labeled A or B for our two cohort groups. Students will be required to wear masks in the classroom and plenty of mask breaks will be incorporated into the day. Special areas, art, music, and library will push into classrooms. Again, we are trying to limit movement and passing time in the hallway, limiting exposure and keeping students together as much as possible. Each student will be supplied with an art bag, and special area teachers will bring supplies into the classroom. Physical education classes will be outside as much as possible, whether permitted. Our students will eat lunch in the cafeteria by grade level in separate desks. Again, this is to ensure distance. Lunch will be a grab-and-go option. If you plan to buy lunch, please use My School Bucks or prepay for multiple lunches at a time with cash or a check. during recess, weather permitting. The playground and the field will be used and staggered to ensure that A and B cohorts remain together. 
Because specials will take place inside a student's classroom, the use of hallways by groups of students will be minimized. When walking, students will walk in a single file, maintaining a six foot distance from one another. Only one student at a time will use the bathroom. Each student will have their own individual stop sign to be used when using the restroom. If there is a stop sign hung outside on the hook, the bathroom is occupied and the student will wait by the markings indicating social distancing. All bathrooms will be regularly cleaned and disinfected. The same signs that indicate social distancing will be near water filling stations. Teachers will remind students about distancing and practice hallway movement during the first weeks of school. Additionally, signs will be hung throughout the building reminding all students and staff of proper hand washing, stop the spread, and to cover their coughs and sneezes. At the end of the day, students will pack up all of their belongings and wait for their bus to be called. We will call one bus at a time so that only small groups of students will be moving through the hallways. Once they exit the classrooms, there will be staff in the hallways and on the bus platform to ensure safe social distancing. Bus 56 is now here. All students on bus 56, please exit through the front doors.